Aries this month in July, there's a revolution going on and it's got your name on it. Here are your July highlights. Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable and genius, is going retrograde, bringing about a turnaround of your fate and fortune. We also have a pentagram, which is very powerful, and it's going to allow you to face your fears and break through into a new reality. Venus, the planet of love, is making you examine in fine detail your emotional relationships, but at the end of the month, it's bringing you pleasure and joy. Aries, this month is a firecracker month for you and it involves a lot of self-examination, changes and transformations. Kicks off actually with Juno, the lovely marriage relationship goddess who's saying to you, it's time to analyse your relationships. It's time to look within actually and examine all the things you do and all your own patterns in relationships. But be careful because if this energy is not used wisely, you can find yourself nitpicking and really being quite hypercritical of a lover or an ex-lover. And you may get caught up in a critical maelstrom. Is it maelstrom? I think it may be maelstrom, but you catch my drift. Anyway, Juno could also bring you, if you're single, or even if you're not, someone that you really get on well with, who you feel totally gels with you. So there is magic there, but the key is not to fall into a critical trap with yourself or other people, but just be analytical in a loving way. Now then we have a full moon, and this full moon is the thunder moon. So it's quite intense, it, it comes with a big bang. And the big bang for you is in your career. You may have a revelation, a dream, a psychic experience, which shows you a way forward when it comes to your career. Very, very exciting. And, you know, one of the reasons I love astrology is because when we know that, you know, on that day, which is the second, you can tune in and just go, you know, send me a message about my career. And then you can use it in a very proactive way. So as an Aries, I'll be tuning into my career on that day. Now on the third, exciting stuff, as we have a pentagram, if you include Eris, the warrior goddess, so we have Uranus and Eris and also Saturn within that mix forming this pentagram, which is about transformation. But it's a very intense lesson. It's almost inescapable. There's something there that we have to face. And in your case, it's about facing your fears and looking at issues connected to power and powerlessness. And you're really kind of maybe faced with a situation that in the past you didn't want to deal with. But now you're like, do you know what? I can deal with this. But remember that Uranus is the planet of the unpredictable and Eris goes in where, you know, angels fear to tread and can be a little bit over the top. She's like a female Mars in a way. So there's that. Try not to move forward with anger, but move forward with gentleness, because to be a true warrior of love, you can fight any battle from your heart and with compassion. And that is the truth. And it's, I, it took me many years to learn it, but it's usually the most powerful way. And the other message of this pentagram is it's all about communication and how you communicate, communicate even. Anyway, it's powerful stuff. Then we have Mercury, the planet of good fortune and a new moon highlighting your home and family. Lots of talks connected to home and family. Also, the good news is as it's a new moon, there's a new beginning when it comes to your home and family, a new cycle, and you're able to let go of the past and step into a new dynamic. Now, we do have some tricky stuff with Venus, the planet of love, going retrograde in, again, your position of being very analytical and critical connected to relationships. You might be reflecting on the past, but fear not because it doesn't last long. And then there's a fabulous energy around your love life. And we have you with Venus going retrograde into the fifth house at the end of the month. And that is all about pleasure. So there is a return to form and you feeling quite sort of bouncy and jolly about love at the end of the month. Now, Uranus, as I said at the beginning, the Lord of the unpredictable is in Aries. So, you know, this may have been a lot of unpredictable stuff happening in your life, some fabulous, maybe some challenging, but Uranus is going retrograde. And actually, I don't feel that that's a bad thing. People look at it very differently, but I would say that you have the opportunity to go back to the past, to maybe a brilliant idea or a revelation that you had that then maybe you whizzed by and you didn't implement. 
Uranus is saying, go backwards, lay some foundations and build on the genius messages that I have given you. And you really, really can do that. Now, you know, your heart is very open on the 31st when there is a full moon and this full moon is the full blue moon. And it's a blue moon because there's two of them this month. And this blue moon gives you the opportunity to feel at one with the universe and also to be very good at manifesting and creating your destiny and throwing your ideas and your wishes out there and drawing something fabulous towards you. However, if you're kind of thinking a lot of negative thoughts, it can be a bit of a tricky time. So make sure that you are fully in your power, loving yourself, loving life and able to, to push on through to see the light at the end of the tunnel and put out your dreams to the universe. Venus re-enters the fifth on, on the um, 31st and that's great for you because you're feeling on an emotional high and you're feeling able to deal with people with love and there's a lot of laughter, happiness, gatherings and fun. In fact, there's a lot of social activity towards the end of the month. Anyway, all very exciting. Have a stunning July. I send you much love and I'll talk to you soon. For more detailed astrology, please come to my website, horoscope.co.uk, where not only do I have monthly, weekly, I also have daily astrology videos and loads of other stuff, all for your specific star sign. So I'll see you there. And please, if you love this, it'd be great if you share it or even better, if you click the button above and you follow me on this channel. Take care, send you lots of love.